So now we have a form that we can use to edit our profile, but if we do something like select an image, we're not seeing its file name. Changes that we're making aren't persisted in state, or at least locally persisted. So to change this, we're going to need to see how to use the handle change function in order to update our state object. So we'll create a handle change. It's going to take an event. Then we're going to use the form data API in order to put both our image data as well as our text data in a convenient package, so to speak, in order to send off to our back end to both change our text values for name, email, and about, as well as to change our avatar. So within component mount, we can create a new property on our class called user data and set it equal to new form data. So we'll use the form data API in order to give us something onto which we can set and delete values which we'll eventually want to send to our backend. So within handle change, we're going to create a new variable called input value, which we're going to initialize with let. First, we're going to say if event.target.name is equal to avatar, if there's a change event for an input whose name is avatar, we're going to set input value to event.target.files. So when we select an image with the input, with the input with the type of file, we'll get it an array from event.target.files, and we want to select the first element with the zero index. And when we select an avatar, we want to preview it. So we can call set state. We want to set a new property in state called avatar preview, and we'll within it call a new function called create preview image. We're going to create an image which we can display in our page with the input value that we just set. So we can write the function create preview image in one line. It will accept a file and we'll use the URL API in order to call create object URL and to it we'll pass our file. This will create a URL that we can use in the source property of an image element in order to see what the image that we selected will look like. So we'll need to create avatar preview here. And then within render, we can destructure avatar preview. And then where we're displaying our avatar, right here after we've loaded our user data, we can set the source to avatar preview or avatar. This means if we've set avatar preview, it will go before any avatar that we have. But if our page is just loaded, then it'll just show the avatar. Otherwise, if we're not, if we don't have a change event on any input that has a name attribute set to avatar, we're just going to say that the input value is equal to event.target.value, which we're quite familiar with. So then we can call this.userData. We want to set a name and a value on the form data. So we'll get the name from event.target.name, and the value will be input value. And we want to set state as well. We'll do it the way that we are familiar with, taking event.target.name and setting its property to event.target, well, not event.target.value, to input value in this case. So if we save and try modifying the values in our form, we go to our dev tools and search for edit profile. If we take a look at the name, for example, the name property in state, try changing that. We see that it's updated. The same applies to our email. And if we find about, that should be updated too. Now, if we want to upload an image, we select our logo again. We see that we have an image preview. We have the file name of the image, logo.png. So we have the preview, and we also have the file itself. So the file was put in avatar, the avatar property in state. So now that we're able to update our state in our form data, let's go to our form, our opening tag, 
create an onSubmit referencing handle submit function. So handle submit will, as usual, call at the beginning prevent default. Then we need to create our update user function. We'll do that again in the API. So update user will need two things. It's going to have passed to it both the auth user ID as well as the user data. So we'll await axios.put the path will be slash API slash users and the auth user ID path and we'll pass in user data as the payload get back our data and we'll return it then an edit profile we can get the auth user ID from state so this dot state dot ID and we can pass in our user data object and for now all we're going to do is we'll add a then we'll get back our updated user and we'll just console log the result so we need to remember to grab update user from our API file now let's save all of our files and we'll try modifying the about field say hi I'm Jen I'll switch to my console I'll hit save and if we look at the data that comes back, we can see that about now has the text that we provided.